Hello students we are going to discuss the topic treatment of goodwill in partnership let's start what is goodwill goodwill is an intangible asset something we can't touch right so it is a kind of reputation image with an organization earns over a number of years in partnership why are we required to calculate goodwill the reason is reconstitution or change in profit sharing ratio so in the videos we are going to have the understanding of how to calculate goodwill that is methods of calculation of goodwill and secondly the accounting treatment of goodwill in case of reconstitution in partnership right reconstitution includes what admission of partnership death of partnership retirement of partnership or change in profit sharing ratio among the existing partners let's start with the methods of goodwill In this video I am going to cover the first methods of calculating goodwill that is average profit method let's start so we have four methods to calculate goodwill namely average profit method super profit method annuity method and capitalization method the first one which we are going to cover is average profit method what is average profit method in average profit method we are trying to calculate the goodwill on the basis of average profit of number of previous years it is the most simplest method used by an organization right so what is the formula to calculate goodwill using average profit method in it average profit method we have two sub methods first one is simple average profit method second one is weighted average profit method we will be understanding first the simple average profit method and we will be solving an illustration on same same way we will be understanding what is the formula to calculate weighted average and then we will be having an illustration okay let's start the simple average method i told you average profit method is the simplest method in it the first one simple average profit method what is the formula to calculate simple average profit method the goodwill goodwill is calculated by the formula average adjusted profit multiplied by number of years of purchase now we will be understanding what is average adjusted profit in detail like how to calculate it number of years of purchase gives us the idea about how many number of years a organization a partnership is able to earn same amount of profit and this will be given to you in the question readily you don't have to calculate it right so what is average adjusted profit how to calculate it the formula is given by total adjusted profit divided by number of years in it total adjusted profit now we want to know what is total adjusted profit right let's understand step by step steps in calculation of goodwill under simple average profit method step 1 we should know how to calculate adjusted profit what are the steps the actual profit how we will get the actual profit it's nothing but the net profit you get from the profit and loss statement to it we are going to add all the kinds of abnormal losses any kind of non recurring expenses what do you understand by non recurring expenses expenses which will not happen again and again in the future time then abnormal gain what would come under abnormal gains abnormal gains are like some kind of profit on sale of fixed assets are we going to sell the fixed assets on the daily basis are we going to earn the lottery on the daily basis no right so they should not be considered while calculating the value of goodwill then any kind of non recurring income likewise we ignored non recurring expenses in same lines we will be ignoring non recurring income also then we are going to ignore income from non trade investment you should understand that non trade investment we are talking specifically about non trade if trade investments are given we will keep it okay and lastly any kind of additional expenses which are expected to be paid in future for example if we are going to take some kinds of insurance policy for which we are required to pay what premium 
okay so all the abnormal gains are to be deducted and all the abnormal expenses are to be added back in this way we are going to get the answer of adjusted profit that is a step one to calculate adjusted profit in step two we are going to calculate the numerator part that is average adjusted profit average adjusted profit is given by the formula total adjusted profit upon number of years we just now calculate in the step one what is total adjusted profit and number of years that means whatever number of years of profit which is given to you you should take it for example if they give you four years of profit take the number of years as what four right then after that the step three is finally calculation of goodwill which is given by the formula average adjusted profit multiplied by number of years of purchase let's solve a sum to understand it better way let's read the question calculate the value of goodwill on two years of purchase of average profit as you can see they have given you number of years of purchase directly in the question right of the firm from the following the three years data is given to you in 2020 they have told the profit on this 94,000 but it is having 8,000 rupees which is excluded as insurance premium which the firm is going to pay right now this is something like additional expense which we are going to incur in future so we have to deduct it then in 2021 they have rupees 125000 profit in which they have included what abnormal gains i just now told you all the kinds of abnormal gains are to be deducted because they are already included in the profit but they should not be considered while calculating the adjusted profit and the third year data that is 78600 profit but it is including what abnormal losses which is charged debited if you have debited you have to credit it credited means what we are going to add it back right let's solve the sum we have understood the question clearly so we have been given data of three years right what is the data given to us 2020 2021 2022 what we need in the step one we need adjusted average profit right so for that what are the profit which is already given to you for the year 2020 we have 94,000 rupees profit but it has an adjustment of 8,000 which is the expense part which is to be deducted and finally my adjusted average profit for the year 2020 comes out to be how much 86,000 then in 2021 my profit given was 125 but it is including what gain right abnormal gain abnormal gain are to be deducted so i will be deducting 20000 rupees finally i get the adjusted profit for 2021 as what 105000 lastly in 2022 i had a profit of 78600 rupees in it there is a abnormal loss losses are to be added so 4000 rupees i am going to add and finally i am going to get 82600 as adjusted profit now we need to take a total of this adjusted profit which comes out to be how much so the total comes out to be how much 273600 this is what total adjusted profit. I am need of average adjusted profit. It is given by the formula adjusted profit divided by number of years. So we are being given the data of three years. So my adjusted average profit comes out to be how much? 91,200 rupees, right? Now the next step is to calculate the goodwill. Goodwill is given by the formula average adjusted profit which is 91,200 multiplied by number of years of purchase. As you can see in the question number of years of purchase is given to you directly as 
two years. So I'll multiply it. How much I get as goodwill? It will be one lakh eighty two thousand four hundred rupees. And my question is done. Okay. Now we will understand the next method, which is valuation of goodwill by weighted average method. Let's start. So. what is the difference in simple average and weighted average we are going to apply what weights here okay so the formula is given by the goodwill is equal to weighted average profit multiplied by number of years of purchase as you can see the formula is updated with the word weighted average rest the formula like simple average is same then how do we calculate the weighted average profit it is calculated by the formula total weighted profit divided by total weights now what does this mean we will understand it step by step okay like we did for simple average method firstly we are going to assign the weights to the profit now how do i assign you are going to give the highest weight to the most recent years for example they give you 3 years data 2020 2021 and 2022 So the year twenty twenty two will have highest weight that is three, twenty twenty one will the next one that is two, and twenty twenty will get the weight as what we are done with the step one. Secondly, we will be totaling the weighted profit. How do we get that? Whatever respective profit you are having, the three years data of twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, and twenty twenty two, you will multiply it with the assigned weights. we have just now assigned the highest weight to which 2022 and let's say we have a profit of 10000 so 10000 into 3 gives you 30000 and so on once you get that you just need to take the total of it in the step 2 let's move to step number 3 in step number 3 i am going to calculate the weighted average profit like we calculate the average adjusted profit how do we calculate that we are going to divide the total weighted profit which we have got in step 2 by the total weight now what is total weight the weight we have assigned like 1 plus 2 plus 3 the total is how much 6 right in the step number 4 once we have got the weighted profit we are going to calculate goodwill goodwill is given by the formula weighted average profit multiplied by number of years of purchase now we will solve a illustration to understand in a better way let's start let's see the question clearly goodwill is to be valued on 3 years purchase i told you number of years of purchase will always be given to you readily on the basis of 5 years of weighted average the word weighted is given to you so you must understand we have to apply which method weighted average profit method okay profit for the last 5 years is given to you right now what is the step one we have to assign the weights which is the latest year in this question ma'am 2022 is the weight latest year so if we have 5 years data i will be assigning the weight 5 to 2022 and by that i'll go 4 3 2 1 right in this way step 1 is done let's put the data so we have data for year number 2018 2019 20 21 and 2022 what are the profits given to you it is 4200 4500 4700 and lastly 5000 step 1 assigning the weights the recent one gets the highest weight and it goes on reducing next step we have to multiply the weights with the respective profit and take the total so in the year 2018 i get the weighted profit as 4200 in the year 2 it is 9000 in the year 2020 i get the profit as 14100 in the year 2021 i would get a profit of how much 18400 and 25000 rupees 
right? So the total of this comes out to be how much? 71,700. Okay, so step two is done. What is the step three? Calculation of weighted average profit. How do we calculate that? We need to take the total of all the weights, which is how much? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. It is how much? 15. So my weighted average profit is given by the formula. Weighted average profit divided by number of weight. So weight is how much? 15. So my average weighted comes out to be how much? Rupees. 4780. What is the step 4? Calculation of goodwill, which is given by the formula weighted average profit into number of years of purchase. How much is the number of years of purchase given to you in the question? It is 3 years. So I'll be multiplying 4780 with 3, which comes out to be how much? 14,314. So the value of goodwill is 14,340 rupees. Right? So in this video, we have covered the average profit method, which have two methods that is simple average profit and weighted average profit. I hope you like this video. So stay tuned for the more videos in which I'm going to cover the next method, which is super profit method. Thank you. Thank you.